date the other day, and uh, we ended up at her place. And uh, the first thing she told me was uh, to strip down to my comfort level. <laughs> yes, so I put on the cardigan. <laughs> but people do smell here, I'm sorry. I saw this very classy lady. Oh my God, she was stressed beautifully. And then she was like, bonjour. And I was like, bon, ooh. <laughs> Don't you think pineapple pizza is the LGBTQ of the pizzas? <laughs> I mean, it faces a lot of prejudice. <laughs> people hate it for no reason. People think it's unnatural. <laughs> I mean, again, I tell, the, I tell these people, you know, how do you know if you don't like it if you have never tried it? <laughs> Are you guys ready to start the show? <laughs> then give it up for your host tonight, Terrence Wong. Hello, good evening, everyone. Go ahead, give yourselves another round of applause for coming out to tonight's show. Um, so I was looking for a new place to do a show, and then I came across um, the place where we're in right now, which is actually a Turkish restaurant, but they have this little theater in the basement. And I found it on Instagram because there was um, a French comedy show here. Now we do four shows a week in this location, and then I got a different location where I do another show. Uh, and I think the people that are doing this, they are really brave to do this. Uh, so this is one, one reason I will come back, and also because I, I was laughing a lot. In, in, normally I'm not someone that laughs a lot. I mean, I'm really hard at laughing. But actually, some jokes are really, really good, so I will, I will come back to you to have a good look. As you can see, the comedians only have five minutes, so if it feels really, really cringy, just let them go for another two minutes. That's fine. There's going to be another cringy comedian right after, okay? It's going to be okay. It seems like it's still starting at an early stage, um, but the people are excited. They uh, seem to be learning more what stand-up is. Um, I can speak for other European countries where I used to go and there was barely any stand-up and now all the cities that I've gone to, there's a lot of stand-up. Anyway, so I was sitting on this bidet and I felt like a Kardashian. I was like, you know that's all they do, they just sit in their mansions. And like Kim and Chloe and everybody, they just sit there on their bidets. That's why their asses are so big, you know? <laughs> They're full of bidet water. <laughs> they have trapped bidet water everywhere. That's why there's a drought in California. <laughs> They're like, why is it such a desert here? Because I can tell you where all the water is. <laughs> Suddenly you're like, oh, you don't need to rely on anybody in a way. You just, just need to write your thing and you come for five minutes and you just do your five minutes and you take your feedback directly from the audience. It's a very, like you can work on your own and you can improve and you can have the outlet, but at the same time you have the challenge of like, can you actually connect with the audience? <laughs> Who do we have next to Layla? Me, Hannah. Hannah, let's welcome Hannah to the show. <laughs> now, are you American, or are you another one of these mythical Parisians that speaks English perfectly, possibly better than me? I'm American. You are American. Nice. Should we get a quick USA chant going? Just you and me. Just you and me. <laughs> USA. You. Uh, she's like wincing. She's like, oh, God, no. That's why I left. Oh. <laughs> you have to be open to the jokes. and and realize that they're not coming from a place of hatred, they're coming from a place of uh, fun and entertainment, and just poking at people. And then you have to be able to fire back your own <laughs> jokes as well. So yeah, uh, for integrating the society, yeah, comedy is huge. Comedy is huge for that. I think that we should love about everything. We have the, you know, the, the sentence in French and maybe in other language. You can, on peut rire de tout, mais pas avec n'importe qui. But I think that you can love about everything with everyone. It just depends how you bring the joke. But uh, I th for me, comedy is really important, even more in, in our days that are not always happy or funny. Uh, but to bring some joy to people, it's really important. And comedy is a big part of it. That is the end of the show. 
But before we get going, can we get a final round of applause for everyone who performed tonight? We had Casper Kicker Pill, Carmen Lynch. And give that round of applause going for our special guest tonight. We had Layla Hanna EF. My name's Tanner Swan. This is Blast Off Comedy. Good night. I used to be a software developer, and I enjoyed it. Um, but it was a job, whereas comedy is a passion. And so um, if it's something I can do professionally and make uh, money from it while, you know, fulfilling myself and, um, you know, achieving what I want to, you know, achieving dreams or at least in the pursuit of achieving dreams. Everyone sh should go once at least to a comedy club to understand what is it and to open their mind on being, I mean, laughing about everything.